Okay. Hello, welcome to a new Sketch and Carve tutorial. Today we will be building this simple table using Grease Pencil's geometric tools only. So let's start. Press K to activate the add-on, select Smart Join and click Blank Start. Name it Table and click OK. Press Alt right click to activate the camera controls and select Cursor to World Center. Press Alt Numpad 7 to align the camera to top view. Press K to activate the add-on and make sure the auto view is on. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape like this. And when you're done, press Enter. Press K to convert it to mesh. In order to center the object, let's select Snap to Cursor option. Let's also round the corners a bit. Select the bevel tool and choose 2D. Activate bevel 2D and adjust the width. Also increase the segments to give it a nice round shape. Don't left click anywhere just yet because we are not quite done with this piece. If you have auto view enabled, after each operation the add-on will switch to user perspective. So you can view your object from different angles freely. Let's also add a 3D bevel. Since we didn't set this object yet, click the new option. Adjust the settings to your liking and when you are happy with it, press K to set it. For the next operation, turn off both bevels or even better, just simply click reset. Also remember to enable smart join again. In order to create the legs of the table, press Ctrl Alt Numpad 7 for button view. Then press Numpad 0 for the camera view. So now we are looking at the table directly from below. Select the rectangle tool again and draw one of the legs. If you want a perfect square, hold Shift while drawing. Press Enter to finalize the rectangle and press K to create the mesh. Just like we did before, let's add some 2D bevel. This time let's leave it at a single segment. Let's also increase the extrusion. When you're happy with the length, set the geometry by pressing K. Switch to camera view by pressing numpad 0. Since the camera is still facing the bottom of the table, we are good to go. Using the rectangle tool, let's draw the leg support. Press Enter to set the shape and press K. Since we don't want this to be as long as the leg, let's reduce the extrusion. Also remember to turn off the 2D bevel, or to make things simpler, just simply reset the settings and set the extrusion from scratch. Turn on the X-ray, and as you can see, the support is penetrating the leg. In order to fix that, let's turn on self-trim. Trim didn't quite work because both objects are flush with each other. So let's move the support a smidgen up in Y. And that did the trick. Let's draw the support on the other side of the leg as well. Switch to the camera view and, using the rectangle tool, draw the other support shape. Since Sketch and Carve remembers the last settings, the new object will be at the exact same height, with the same offset. By the way, while building the table, if any time if you make a mistake or change your mind, simply undo or click mute. You can make changes to your grease pencil lines or, if necessary, just draw the shape again from scratch. Also remember to turn back the auto view on if you don't want to accidentally orient the canvas. Now we can turn on the mirror modifier. Activate the mirror modifier and expand the options. Depending on the angle of your model, turn on the correct axes to mirror your object. And also, since we have our object centered, turn on global axes. Now at this point, you will probably realize that the support beams are not mirrored. It's because the self-trim option creates a separate object. Since there's no need for them to stay separate anymore, let's select them and then last the table and press Ctrl J to join them. Now if you have left your mirror modifier active, you will see that those parts are also mirrored automatically. Now let's also draw a little triangular support shape. Using the draw polygon tool, draw a triangle like so. Press enter when done and also press K to generate the mesh. Now if the geometry fails it's because, just like last time, the shape is flush with the table. Just give it a little offset in the transform panel and that will take care of it. Now I'd like to make this leg a little bit more interesting. Shift right click to place the cursor at the bottom of the leg. Press Alt right click to open the camera controls. And select cursor to the surface center. 
This will place the 3D cursor and the canvas at the center of that face. Then press Alt Numpad 1 to orient the canvas to front view. And press Numpad 0 to switch to camera view. Next, select Rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle, like so. Press Enter to finalize the rectangle and then press K to create the mesh. Let's also turn on X-ray here. Activate the Bevel tool again and uh, select 2D. And let's give this shape some roundness. Adjust the width of the bevel and also give it some segments. Although in this case it's not necessary, but you can also bevel the edges selectively by adjusting the start and range values. Start decides which corner to start with and the range is how many corners to bevel. In this case we only need one. Next activate the spin tool and change the axis to Z. Then change the spinning axis from the world to cursor. So if you did everything right you should end up with an object like this. Change the boolean to remove. You can temporarily hide the guides to see the final shape. So this leg is a little too thin, so let's give it some thickness. Expand the spin transforms and give it a little offset on X axis. Something like this should do. When happy with the results, press K to set it. Reactivate the mirror modifier and set it to world axis. Change the material colors to something you like. And here is the table. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please put a like and share. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.